all right guys i don't know what today's date is but it's what's that uh oh what's that what's that what's that <laughs> what's that what's that come on she don't want it she don't, she don't want it it's tuesday my husband is telling me how to vlog we're gonna go eat some breakfast and then we're gonna go and do a boat tour on Charlotte Harbor. We've done boat tours on Charlotte Harbor before, but we absolutely love the water and we love boat tours. And my husband loves nature and nature tours. If there is a, look at me. He just don't know how to park that truck. <laughs> I don't know what Caleb obsession is with that picture on that trailer, but boy, he keep going to it and just standing there and do like he bowing to it. I'm like, Caleb, come on! Every time he go, he go, he go. He love that picture, and it's super sad. Besides you, he's probably the only other person on earth that love it more than you. <laughs> he can't love it. <laughs> he, he just think it awesome. That boy see that picture every day he go to it. Like, wow. This is nice. You can see it in his eyes. You will see the day when he get off the bus. That's the first place he go. Anyway, let me put on my seatbelt. Hey, Miss Christina, how are you doing? Uh, yes, it, this is Bill Ford and Four Miles. Oh, really? So you don't, so you don't have that money? You only have that? Yeah. Only name for school. Okay. I don't know why online say Four Miles. So we're in Puente Gorda, which is actually downtown Puente Gorda. No, we're in Fisherman's Village, actually. They have nice little shops here. They got a Home Depot coming here. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> That's just a Home Depot paper. Be bad, Tommy Short. Have money. Be bad. It would be nice to find a spot to charge up. Oh, okay. So let's find out when the next boat leaves. So we're gonna find out when the next boat is leaving. Can. There's not one that go take out the kill. How you doing? Hi. Good, good. Today is 
What's that? Kingfisher punch, $8. Yeah, it's really Ridge, we spent the whole day on Peace River. I mean, by the end of this video, we were so tired, so pooped. We came home and we just fell out. <laughs> we can say that we got our vitamin D um, on Father's Day. But um, I had a great time with my husband. We are so into nature. I got my husband into nature watching now. So we're always at... Um, the beaches, Sanibel Island. We're always at some nature park. We're always watching manatees, gators. We're always in somebody's swamp. Uh, we just love nature now. And so what great gift than to give my husband than to go out and spend the whole day on Peace River in Buena Gorda on our own private boat charter and just do our thing. Um, riding up here we're riding up on bird island i think and um, the birds were just singing yeah there they go they're singing and chirping and this video is sped up times 10 because it was like all day on the river but my god those birds were so beautiful they were singing uh, the gators were, were near the birds <laughs> Anyway, my husband and I just had a really great time. So enjoy the rest of this video. Um, the dolphins, if you stick around to the end, you will see that they were just swimming and swimming and swimming and putting on a show. They wanted to be seen, y'all. They thought we were special. So enjoy this video. Now let the dolphin show begin. Oh my God, guys, just pay attention. Pay attention, these dolphins loved us. They loved the reels. So we're nearing the end of our video. We had so much fun. My husband and I are laughing. As you can see, by the time we headed back into dock, girl, we were drained. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, so the cruise that we wanted is not going out today. It's going out another day. Okay, Acosta all day. I do want to do the Kea Costa one. Like we can go to some stores around this city. Like come on.
is a huge no. They have other private boats here. Down further. Alright guys, so just waiting on him. He went to drop off some business cards or do something. I'm actually gonna go wait by the car. It's kinda hot standing right here and waiting. Today I'm hanging out with my husband and my son after I got off at my job and they are doing some moving jobs. I'm going to clean my camp right here. One second. So I'm hang hanging out with them. They're going to do some moving jobs and then afterwards we're going to go to the L house and grab some lunch. Um, this is just me checking myself out. <laughs> The lighting is so bad here. Oh, I need to work out. Oh, I can smell the alcohol and now I'm gonna get toasted. I'm gonna be toasted like a woman. I'm playing like Kayla. <laughs> You know what you're gonna get? Where am I yourself? Yeah, I'm recording my workers. I had to come and supervise today. I was supervising you and your job. I gave this one a $15 raise. He did a good job. Who? This one. Where? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, behind me 
And so immediately somebody says, I'm here, okay? Mm -hmm. And they want to apologize. So the person that wants you to know that they are here um, is saying, um, I want to apologize for things said that may have in some way affected your self-esteem um, over the years, okay? And also um, arg uh, argument right before my passing. Okay, apology. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then coming through, big heart. So I know that that's you because I know you personally, a person with a big heart. But this person is saying she extends um, her generosity or self to other people. Um, sometimes over extension. Mm -hmm. Okay of yourself to other people but the part of that is because there's some areas in your life that has not been healed yet because what you are extending to other people mm -hmm. um going over and beyond uh in some places in your life uh people have not extended that to you when you needed it okay if, if that makes sense to it you makes sense. okay and so you don't want other people to feel that pain um that you feel from somebody not being there for you that you thought, okay, oh, if only somebody mm -hmm. had showed up for me. That's true. So you trying, this person's explaining mm -hmm. that you are trying to be there for other people in that capacity, but also they want you to uh, step back and take time for self-care and healing. Mm -hmm. Some of the damage which they feel responsible for that they already apologized for, mm -hmm. okay? And then also, um, they want you to take care of self-care because they're saying your journey is so much bigger than uh, the path that you've already been on. And okay. they wasn't even aware of the greatness of your journey, um, of your, your, your path. So there is healing energy coming through for you, not only for yourself, but uh, the healing that you're gonna be doing for others and I, I already spoke to you about this right uh some like a shaman type healer mm -hmm. a person and it's different from the path that you've been on and so um you've been misunderstood in your current path because it's a box mm -hmm. and you don't quite fit in that box because your your gifts uh extend beyond that okay um let me just meditate some more Misunderstood. I hear that word a lot. She's misunderstood. <laughs> uh, some of your friends who've known you through the years are, are currently puzzled uh, about your current journey and your current transformation. They may even be a little worried, uh, but he says there's no need for worry. In particular, I see two friends, <laughs> okay, that are like, what is Connie doing? Does she know what she's getting into? type of thing but this is your journey mm -hmm. and you um are an extension of the hands of god that's the way i'm seeing it in my vision um like a hands coming out of the atmosphere mm -hmm. and you being those hands to do the work in this earth that spirit wants done and it is not the same as what you were trained your journey would be okay Mm, that's so true. <laughs> okay. So um, get ready for spirit to start giving you what I call downloads um, or in your meditation of different things. Even the way you heal. I know you have formal formal training mm -hmm. and uh, counseling. You have formal training already and massage therapy. But spirit is going to give you downloads of how to heal people uh, using energy. Um, healing mm -hmm. and I also want to say this because I do see mediumship coming through from, for you mm -hmm. and I we are both Christians uh, Dr. Shipman and I, and I know a lot of times people don't believe in mediumship they say oh you're not supposed to talk to the dead but one of the things that when Jesus passed and he rose um, because when we when we leave this body consciousness is still there Right. And all of the disciples communicated with him, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. after he left his physical body. 
that is a form of mediumship. Uh, they all communicated with him after death. The women that was waiting by the grave, you know, Dalton Thomas, these people. So, um, and this information is being to me because when you start getting visitation from people that you recognize is no longer with us in the physical, mm -hmm. spirit wants you to know that is you. Um, he's giving you messages for people that need comforting and healing. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, that may not, uh, with, with the religion that you grow up in, may not fit in that box. But you're going to have experiences uh, coming up that don't fit the box, but you're going to know to be very real. Okay. Okay. So this person is backing out. This person is backing out because mm -hmm. he got a lot of his lessons after life and mm -hmm. after he passed on. A lot of his things um, he wasn't aware of um, in this life. And he went as far as his spiritual journey to take him in this life, mm -hmm. which was getting into a place where he was accepting of a spirit mm -hmm. in his life and being able to be on his highest positive plane. But um, much apologies to you um, for things that he feel has uh, hindered your spiritual uh, walk in some way, things that were said to mm -hmm. kind of like keep 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 you down or that things that lowered your vibration All right okay. okay so i just want to pause because uh right here in this part of the reading uh she does confirm that the person that stepped forward was her husband gerald who passed away tragically in a car accident so Father, help me, Gerald. okay so Father, help me, Gerald. okay so let me just kind of meditate see if anything else want to come through Because I knew Dr. Shipman going into this intuitive reading session, we did ask Spirit to give us confirmation that um, it was indeed Spirit that was sharing messages with her. So Spirit began to talk to me about a discussion or a joke that she had with somebody previously, previous to showing up for this appointment. And Spirit told me about this joke and I shared it with her and she confirmed that that was a conversation she had with somebody about 30 minutes prior to coming to this appointment. As far as dating, I know you have questions about dating. We're not going to go too much into your dating on, on camera, but I do hear Spirit saying, have fun. <laughs> have fun. Um, and then there's a joke being made, like, be ye fisher of men, like being a fisherman. And basically, if you catch one, not what you want, toss it back. And there's more fish there. Okay? <laughs> so if that, Thank you. Yeah. if that joke makes sense to you from <laughs> Spirit. So, uh, it's, you know, that's just a joke that Spirit made. Um, and we're going to stop there. And then the rest of the things we'll discuss off camera because I feel like they are more personal. Okay. Okay? All right. But we live on point with that and the joke about the fish, mm -hmm. we're just talking about.